Hey everyone, Master0063 for I Wanna Be The Boshy Part 12 and uh, let's get rid of that music and get the Castlevania, the awesome Castlevania um, music back on. Um, now as I said, I was kind of um, want to talk about, uh, well actually let's, uh, let's sort of maybe talk about this annoying, uh, ridiculously annoying trigger here first. Probably the most annoying one in the game. Right on cue. Um, and yeah, I expect this to take me um, a little bit of time, so uh, maybe I should uh, talk the talk about uh, yeah the uh, come on the Sonic boss. So um, yeah, we'll be seeing him again. That won't be the last. Uh, that won't be the last. Uh, we'll we'll be seeing of Sonic. Um, but uh, but yeah, the uh, the kind of a supersonic phase where he's kind of swooping at you um, with uh, with supposed kind of rubber band physics with bombs, kind of with a uh, Eggman or Robotnik, depending on uh, which one you prefer. I'm doing that completely wrong. Um, uh, dropping bombs at you, just if you can get him into a kind of a pattern. I and mean, I know some people some people prefer a kind of a a swooping kind of down in, in a. Uh, from the sky kind of pattern and and circling around you and uh, that worked there so that's a uh, that uh, damn it I hate that getting on that tiny platform there um, so that works for some people I've never found that uh, to be particularly uh, useful for me so uh, I tend to prefer the uh, swoop from side to side um, pattern but uh, yeah once you kind of got the hang of that I find that really really fun. Um, after that, he kind of uh, just st uh, spins stationary and spins all around you. Um, he won't actually ever hurt you when he's uh, circling you, um, so that's just an opportunity to get some free hits in. Um, he'll then hurtle across the room at you uh, um, from both sides um, four times. He telegraphs that with a kind of a sound. Um, then you've got Chaos Emeralds uh, kind of dancing all around you, uh, homing in on you, which isn't too bad to dodge. Um, and then uh, Tails comes in. In um, I forget the name of the uh, whoa. There's a tornado, or the uh, maybe it's just the uh, no tornado might be a um, is in the planes incarnation in later games. But anyway, tails uh tails uh kind of flies into Sonic, causing him to lose all his rings. The rings bounce down towards you in a completely random pattern. Um, that is different pretty much every time. Um, and uh, yeah, sometimes they come out in just uh, next to impossible patterns to dodge. Um, sometimes they're okay. Um, as you saw on that successful run, it was absolutely fine, no problem. There was a huge kind of gap that I could go into. Why is this not triggering? Um, and then after that, Sonic kind of hurtles at you. And yeah, if you can avoid that, then uh, the kind of the, pro the pattern kind of repeats itself. Um, so uh, yeah, that's kind of Sonic, uh, Sonic for you in a kind of a nutshell. Um, we will be seeing him again. That will not be the last we'll see of Sonic. Um, I guarantee that. Um, but yeah, you can already obviously already see that this section is uh, causing more than its fair share of problems. We've already died here you know, 20, 23 times. Um, this eyeball trigger is probably, having uh, said in a previous or uh, an earlier video um, that there weren't too many triggers in the game, this is, well, certainly qualifies as a trigger and certainly qualifies as annoying. I would probably say it is probably the most annoying trigger in the game. That was the most stupid thing I could have done in the game. <sighs> but, um, well, that's uh, two in a row, so uh, am I getting the hang of it? I don't know, I wouldn't like to say that. Arrgh, I hate the timing on that little platform there. It's so annoying. Ugh. And no save point, uh, obviously, in between as well, which is obviously what makes this bit really difficult. This jump, isn't it, at the beginning is not um, terribly easy. As you can see, I'm dying on that quite a lot now as well. So, yeah, there's a whole mess of problems in this section before you get to a save, um, which makes it probably one of the most uh, difficult uh, platforming areas uh, in the game to get through, or to get to the next, in terms of getting to the next save, anyway. Dodge the eyeball again. Right, can we time this a bit better? Yes! Right now, can we time this? Yes! 
Whew, I did not want to have to do that uh, over and over again. Um, right, moving on. That was terribly timed and terribly done all round, really. But um, yes, we're through that bloody annoying segment there. And of course, but since unfortunately I've died, it will be back. So uh, let's make sure we avoid that. And mess up the double jump. Because uh, I was on the very edge of the plat uh, very edge of the uh, ledge and uh, walked off rather than jumped. So, yay, we're up there. And you spawn off the screen, but then you spawn back on again. So, uh, um, yeah, we've got probably got enough time. So let's go after this secret. I might actually reset this just to get rid of all the uh, uh, enemies that spawn from the floor. And I am clearly at the moment. <coughs> not picking up where that trigger comes from. Awesome! Ugh. We're now going from not triggering it at all to going too far and not being able to get back. Um, really, I mean, once you get that trigger down, it's not too bad. The only difficult part of this, really, is if the kind of uh, zombies or whatever you want to call them, you can kill them, but um, ultimately I don't think there's really much point, um, is um, where they spawn from the floor. But, um... We've got this secret, as it's a very, very nice one actually. Um, displaying hit points on bosses. I might die here? Oh no, I'm not. Um, if you continue to the right, that's actually an um, inf infinite uh, set of screens, so uh, we'll just kind of go to the left. Um, so despite now that there was a kind of white health bar at the top, um, you can actually see exactly how many hits it takes uh, to kill a boss. So uh, that's what the uh, scouter does. It displays the actual uh, hit points on bosses. And uh, we'll see that when we reach um, um, boss of this world. But um, that's per probably a lot uh, long enough before my video is going to go kaput, so uh, hang on just a second guys. Uh, okay, I'm back. And let's uh, progress on, and uh, thankfully the eyeball trigger happens a lot, uh, or while we're a lot higher up, so we're not going to get hit. Now I'm going to take the higher route back because I don't want to take the lower route back again, that would be, that is just uh, incredibly annoying. So let's see if we can... Uh, Back, yes, right. And we're making excellent progress. Or oh, I think I am anyway. <laughs> and I've clearly obviously just jinxed myself now, but uh, Yeah, this is a tricky kind of section. A lot of uh, uh precise jumps. Yes. Right, now don't mess up on this last bit. Yes. Right, now two options. We want to take the... Well, I don't believe it. You want to take the lower one. And I was so conscious of not jumping into the spike that I did not jump high enough and missed the platform. Which means I've got to do this again. So if I don't mess up, <laughs> Again, I didn't take too long, thankfully, to get back to this point. That's the one, right? Yes, if you go if you go higher up to the high you're on the high route, you'll hit a spike. So uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. And uh, it's Simon Belmont, who's uh, jumping around like a completely uh, well, like he's on uh, some kind of acid or something. Um, if we time this, well, if we can time it correctly, we should be able to get past him. I am not timing this well. I might actually uh, switch. Uh, I think I'm not quite sure I like uh, how I'm going to try and do this now. I much try and much prefer the the uh, this, this this method here. If you can time this right, um, you can kind of get past him before yes before he kind of whips you round. So uh, now you need to be very quick because he's about to, or he doesn't stop. So uh, you, and you need to get uh, through that section pretty quickly. Don't mess up the spike jump. And yes, we should have beaten or bested Simon. You can die. Moving on. I forgot there was one there in the next room. That was a bit stupid. That was even stupider because I could actually see that one when I walked into it.
Uh, treasure chest there at the moment we can't get because as you can see when we go out from one side of the screen we come up here on the or inside the so called or what looks like a tower on the other half and that was a dumb little movement there. Um, so yeah we'll get the secret just a little bit later but we can't get it right now. Right, let's see if we can do this correctly this time. Better. Whoops, let's not be an idiot and go too soon up there. Okay, good. And a save. More, zom more zombies on acid. Yes. Oh, actually, we're we'll getting that uh, secret a lot uh, sooner than I thought we would be. Simon Belmont, unsurprisingly. So now let's jump down this suspicious looking spike weaving area. And almost make it through first go, but not quite. And then probably spend about 10 minutes trying to get through it. Okay, there we go. Let's actually go over here. But I'm actually going to go to the left first because uh, the going to the right will actually continue with the level. Um, but there's. Um, one of a little kind of a secret kind of area. Whoops, over to the. Yeah, I got in it and then I come out of it. Oh dear. Well played. Well played. Let's get in it first, shall we? Um, there was another one of these little areas in um, World 1, but I couldn't actually get to it yet. Um, when uh, There's a particular secret in World 7 that I need uh, in order to get that. Um, so, uh, yay, let's enter this area here. And. Um, Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, for the sake of for the sake of com of comedy, I will uh, touch this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I died, but um, that's quite funny. So uh, why not? That was not funny. That was just terrible jumping. Right now we have to kind of kill all the uh, yay trainers or whatever they are. Um, you couldn't really get past this, this, those ones I just uh, slaughtered um, before, unless you kind of jumped around by that spike area um, toward the right-hand side of the screen. So uh, that can be a bit tricky. Um, it looks like I'm missing one. Oh, there you are. There we go. Yeah, now we should be able to proceed. Yep. Um, there actually, now that I think about it, there was something else I could have done in terms of uh, in terms of another death, um, but. Um, um, I don't really necessarily really want to go back to it um, now, but um, um, there was a particular. Um, let's do some more slaughtering. There was a particular um, Pokemon area that I could have, or uh, um, building that I could have gone into. This bit is rather annoying trying to get out of here. Um, um, and if you kind of lift, uh, motion to enter that, um, Charizard um, comes out and basically just fills the entire screen with undodgeable fire. Or it's dodgeable to start with, but um, you'll soon die. Come on, I want to get through this. My conscious of the time, and I really want to get out of here and saved. Yay! Right. Um, yeah, I think that's probably about all I can fit in for now. So uh, yeah, this has been uh, Musto 0063 with some more. I want to be the Boshi. I uh, hope to see you again next time.